Hello and welcome to CV Tech Tips. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly manage files using the Office apps on your iPad. This is so you can easily access and find files on your iPad in folders. We're going to need the Office apps which include Word, PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote and OneDrive. See our previous video into how to set all these up on your iPad using your school account. Please don't use your personal account, it can cause conflict sometimes, especially when you get to your laptop. Um, but we can check that we're logged into our school account by clicking on settings and as we can see it's got at schools.sa.edu.au at the end of it. The first step we're going to look at is OneDrive. This is where you can access all your files from OneDrive. So these are all my folders that are in my current OneDrive. I've used OneDrive for a few years. It's a bit messy at the moment. But as we can see I have 2018 and 2019. So all my 2018 stuff is in here in case I ever need to get any folders or documents back. Um, but I've, as we can see, I've got documents and documents semester two. We're gonna look at the documents semester two folder. And then I have all my lessons in here. So how you create a new folder is you push the plus at the top right. And you can either, you can scan documents in here, but what we wanna do is push create a new folder. It's gonna ask what the folder name is. So we're gonna call it CV Tech Tips. Um, we can push create and as we can see it's creating the folder and if we just go back a moment we can see that CV Tech Tips has appeared in the Documents Semester 2 folder. So from that we want to go in there and then as we can see the folder is now ready for us to save things in. So what I'd recommend is having it set up like this. So you may want to create a 2018 or 2019 folder or by the time you're watching this it's probably going to be 2020. And then in that, you can create documents semester one and semester two. And inside those folders, you can put all of your lessons. So English, history, learn a voice, maths, anything like that. And then from that, you might, inside these folders, you might create separate folders for separate tasks in here to make life even easier. Making sure you name your documents properly as well. So as we can see, draft for English story, Juno draft. And at the top, I've got all my instructional video items. So then how you save files into this is pretty simple as well. So if we go back to home and we go into Word and we push down and we create a new document. So let's just say we create the take a tour to Word document. It'll download this setup and we're gonna to wanna to save it. So we go to the top left here and click the page icon with the three dots and push save. It's going to bring up places to save it. So we can save it directly to the iPad, but we're not going to do that. We want to click on OneDrive. So this backs it up in the cloud, allowing us to access it from any device. So our iPad, if we need to go on a desktop computer, Windows computer or Mac, we can access it from there as well. So now if we push to get rid of the keyboard a moment, we can find our documents semester two and CV Tech Tips. And we name the document at the top, so we can call it a tour of Word. So if we push save, it will save it at the top. The document names come up at the top above layout there. And there's our document here. And auto save is turned on, so it automatically saves files, uh, making sure you don't lose any work. So as we can see, auto save is on. Now to get back to these files is easy. So if we go back to Word, this is what Word looks like. Here you'll be able to view all of your recently opened documents. As we can see today, I've opened these things and recommended files for you to work on. So if you usually work on a document during this time, it's gonna pop up here. But if nothing's here, it's not here, we can push open. We can use our thing on the left here. We can also find iPad. So we just swipe using our finger left and right to move through these. And we can document semester two, CV tech tips, and then tour of Word and it'll open this back up. So this works the same across Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and of course OneNote is managed separately. So that's a really simple way of how to set up and a, recommend, a way that we recommend to set up your file system on your iPad to easily manage your documents for lessons. You can also upload photos and videos to this using the Photos app in Photos. And then in here we can push this OneDrive. 
So if we need to back photos up or uh, scan in documents that are related to the, your assignment or videos even, just as a backup place, it's always good to save them here. So we click Files, Documents Semester 2, CV Tech Tips, and we'll upload here. It'll be called something different here, but we can always go back into our OneDrive folder. OneDrive app, sorry, CV Tech Tips, and there's our image there. If we click on the three dots, we can also rename files here, so making sure you name your files correctly as well also comes in handy. Rename file, and then we can change it to the name of the picture, so we're gonna call that Daymap Error. And push done. So that's a really basic way and folder system to use in OneDrive using the Office apps. So hopefully that'll help you get set up. Thank you for watching.